Islamization agenda is real. Because of power, Tinubu signed an agreement with British and the Flani leaders to aid in pushing their evil quest to Islamize Nigeria. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. As we speak right now, so many things is happening. For those of you who had dared the Flani government to bring in Tinubu in power, you have done a very big atrocities against your yeah, innocent brothers and sisters, no matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter if you are flat, it doesn't matter if you are Osa, it doesn't matter if you are Igbo, it doesn't matter if you are so-called Atharis. Let me tell you something. When this fire that you set will start burning, everybody will understand eh, that the Flani has come to do the job that Buhari could not finish. According to Mr. Robert Spencer, Islamic Jihadis has taken over several communities set up to get collect passes from farmers and residents while a so-called recruited book ram in military uniform are busy collecting passes setting to get in Ibo land causing all sort of havoc. This is what is happening in Nigeria as we speak. The eastern country of Nigeria has suffered so much, their money being stolen by military because they are mounting rogue to get to collect all their money that they suffer to make. Why in the northern part of the country? The Nigerian leader who calls himself Ebola Ahmed Tinibu has added the flooded terrorists to continue to Islamize and flanize Nigeria. Osman Danfodo's plan before his death is coming. According to Robert Spencer, he claimed this was one of the reasons why Namde Kalo was kidnapped in the first instant. That not because of election, because they believe that time is coming when they are going to set up Muslim Muslim ticket and so many things will happen for this reason. Namde Kalo that have seen him as a threat to the ambition, as a threat to everything they have to achieve. For this reason, they have to hijack and kidnap him. Some of you don't understand that, that so many things are happening secretly. So many Northerners are being sponsored by the huge amount of money in dollars just to make sure they support these jihadis who has come to run Bish Nigeria. I have said this several times. I love Muslims. I love Christians. I love everything in Nigeria. But when it comes to the president doing everything possible to finalize another ethnicity by force, I will never subscribe to that. This is why I have continued to hammer in people's ear who have refused to understand to see reasons with me. Just like Master Nam Kano said, Robert Spencer has voiced it out. He has told everybody that is willing to know that the time is here that Fulani has come to Islamize Nigeria. But like I've always told you, Biafra land will be their doom. It has always been. This is why they did everything possible. This is why they created some criminals from Despera to continue to cause havoc in Biafra land. Everything was planned. But now, like I've said always, like Master Nandi Carlos said, anybody who came in Biafra land with hope the destroyer of our land will not live in peace. And those of them who are in despair, causing havoc, trying to air this thief, 
This drug baron in Asorok to Islamize Biafra land, we have a lot of problem when the time comes. Go and mark it one place. I only speak when I am moved to speak. And this is why I'm speaking now. For some time now, I have pretended as if I don't know what is happening. But this is time for me to speak out. For those who are willing to hear, let them hear. For those who are not willing to hear, well, we are here. We will still watch everything at you as it were food. And you understand that me and you will not be met. So many people call me a sack military. So many people called me a sacked military man. This was what happened years ago. And I also know the reason. And the truth is this. I am very, very happy today that I did not continue. Because as you mean I did, with what is happening today in Nigeria, I will see myself as a failure. Because Nigerian military has failed in their duty. Because they allow themselves to be used by this presidency. No doubt, Nigerian president is the chief commander. That is not a tangible reason for the Nigerian military to allow themselves to be used by both Buhari and Ahmed Dinibu. They allow the northern part of the country, including Plateau State, to suffer in penury. They allow them to be destroyed. They allow them to be killed by this Janja weed that are coming from pit of hell. According to Buhari, they come from Libya. That was a terrorist who spoke. Buhari was quite a terrorist. He lied to Nigerians, claiming that this people came from Libya. The question is, who brought them from Libya? The question is, why is there a fire still moving around? Because he was part and parcel of those who brought these terrorists from all the parts of Libya, whatever it is they claim they brought them from. To Nigeria, but why is he still moving around here? What is she? The question is why should a man whom was caught with a terrorist in his house in the name of Shetima, why should he be a vice president of Nigeria? That should be the question, but because you know, Baz believe. That they can do anything and go free with it. Because they believe that Ibo man is their problem. Because they believe that to destroy Ibo man property and houses and all they suffer to make in life is their problem. They have refused to grow up to understand that the Flanese has come to Islamize, to Flanese Nigeria. And they are using them to achieve that. Go to Yoruba land now. They have taken over. The Flanese Janjawi has taken over. Why Omoteku are doing everything possible to contend with them? They have won Omoteku because they pushed them out of the forest. But that, they will not succeed in Ibo. Like, is that day? We all will die. Our men are there. Just wait and see. Apart from Mr. Security Network, you are going to see some deadly men in Ibo land soon. Who is going to contend with all these terrorists? If in case they are planning to do that nonsense they are doing in Yoruba land in Eastern region, especially in the five state of Eastern region. The truth must be preached. 
we must not allow anybody to use our own people to cause us effect. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much, Robert Spencer, for enlightening this man who has refused to listen that called himself Biafra. Jay Biafra. <laughs>